Hi, on this video we are going to be learning about arrays and arrays are something wonderful in programming because we can store multiple types of data inside one container. If you remember we talked about variables and we said you know variables we can we can store data in variables but we were only able to store one single data, one single value inside a variable, right? Arrays are variables with superpower that's what arrays are. Arrays you can store any type of data, not only any type of data, but many many times over and over again. Let me show you exactly what an array is and let me show you how to use them. So let's go ahead and open our co-editor. I'm gonna grab that blank.php I'm gonna do a save as here and like I said don't mind my the files that I got on the left side there just know that you have that in your course exercise files. You might not have some of these files here, but we believe me, we will go over everything I'm going over right now in the lecture is what you should have in your exercise files, all right? Whatever you see here, sometimes it might not be accurate because I will delete some of these files and we'll do it again, depending uh, if I make a mistake on a lecture or something like that. So, anyways, arrays.php, that's going to be the file name. And let me show you first let's just open up a PHP tag and let me show you the syntax of it how we write it down just like the variable right we say that an array is just like a variable with superpowers right so we're gonna be using the dollar sign because you know it's a variable basically right but we're gonna we're gonna give it some superpowers so we're going to be saying number list I'm gonna name it number list right and the way we assigned this variable superpower to make it an array is by assigning it an array function right look at that right here so that looks like a very much like like a function right well it is a function in a, in a way right because it has parentheses here and that's what a function is by the way in PHP. You're going to see a name like this and then you're going to see a parenthesis and a semicolon, right? And functions uh, in PHP have do many different things. In this case, this is going to make this variable, it's going to give this variable superpowers and now we're going to call this variable array now. And I told you that we can store many different values inside here and that's what I'm about to do right now. Look at this. All right, we can do this with arrays, by the way, with variables. And look at this. And I'm going to do this. I love arrays, by the way, because we can do so many different things with it. All right, so. Right, let me just make this a little bigger here so that way we can see what, what we are doing. All right, so let's just make this so that way it can go to the second line there. All right, so let's make sure that we have a separator there and actually right here. There we go. All right, I think I think we're good. All right, so we have this array here with many different type of values in there. We even have an H1 saying hello there. So we have now one thing I gotta tell you about an array is that we these values here, each of these values, are called indices. And the index in an array starts with zero. So this first spot right here, this number is index zero and I'm going to show you in a minute the structure right behind the array inside uh, this page right here when we publish it on the browser so let me first show you that if we go ahead and see this here we don't have anything all right that's a good thing because we don't have no errors but how do we show an array how do we display the information let's use an echo fu echo function 
and let's say let's just dip, display array this this number list on the screen we get an error array to string conversion not possible right so we have an error here so how we display this data here well I told I already told you that arrays have indexes right we have an index of 0 here index of 1 2 3 4 and 5 values so we start at 0 and we have 5 values in here but we start with 0 and the way we do that if we want to display that value on the browser we need to refer to it by the index number and that index is 0 and we also, we use brackets around it to refer to that and I'll show you in a minute why we use that and as you can see here I'm displaying 267 so I'm displaying index 0 we use the name of the array following by brackets and inside the brackets we type in the index this is index 0 like I said now let me show you when I mean index 0 index 0 what it is so I'm just gonna comment that out and I did this this is the same way we do it in HTML basically well in HTML we do it like this we comment things out like this right well on PHP we just use forward slash twice and that's a single line and I'm just repeating this I might I might have told you already how to do this but just in case and the forward slash and little star here will do everything until we close it like this all right and I think you do it like that on CSS I believe if I'm not mistaken so anyways so we got this there we're referring to it. let me just comment this out like I was gonna do and let me show you the structure of an array so I'm gonna use a function this is a built-in function in, in PHP called print R right there you see the parentheses there and I'm going to put the name of this array inside here and when I come out here I'm gonna show you the structure of it all right let me take this hello out of there because that's getting actually I'm gonna leave it there and that's the hello we have I think on the fifth spot the last one so we said that we need to refer to the first item to 67 by the index number right here all right you see that the index right here is zero so and it has brackets that's how an array is constructed inside it has brackets in there around that zero so we need we refer to it by the name of the array and by the brackets and the index zero if we wanted the second value here we refer to it by brackets and the number one as you can see here we can do that let's take the print r there let's just comment this out by pressing command and the forward slash or control the forward slash on windows I'm gonna do the same thing to take it off and I'm gonna refer to it by the number one let's see what we get we get a second value all right 8765 if we do four we get 345 which is almost the last value I really wanted to get number five and we get five which is this one hello all right so this is how we take information out of the array and use it very useful all right we can put whatever we want into an array and arrays are actually the number one containers we use in programming even though variables are something that we use all the time but arrays you're gonna find yourself using it a lot more than variables since we can hold more uh, multiple data inside an array all right and there are different types of types of array and we're gonna be talking about that later all right so anyways thank you so much for watching this lecture here and hopefully you were able to learn some valuable information and I'll see you in the next one take care